everyone. I'm just going to give you a quick overview of the Nexus Mutual token model. So the main purpose of the token model is to make sure that the Mutual has enough funds, or the DAO has enough funds in it, to pay claims. And so it can attract capital and also release capital when it um, has too much or, or not enough. So to do that, the first thing we have, um, or the main crux of it, is a bonding curve or a continuous token model. And in essence, that looks something like this. So we have the price on the, the y-axis and the level of funds in the mutual on, uh, on the x-axis. And the price tends to go up the more funds we have. There are, there's one critical point of for the token model, um, and, that's, and that's this point here. And that's where the um, MCR, which is, which is called our minimum capital requirement, that's when we basically have the same amount of funds in the pool as we need. And so that's, um, that's called that MCR. And at this point, if the funds we have in the mutual, that would mean the MCR would equal 100%. So the token model formula is actually price equals a constant value, which we'll set up launch, plus the minimum capital requirement in Ether, divided by another constant, we set up launch, then multiplied by the ratio, the minimum capital um, requirement percentage, all to the power of four, and that gives us the shape. So, very quickly, what that means is, when the MCR equals 100%, then that term just becomes one, and you end up with the minimum capital requirement in Ether, which will say starts at five million, and that gives you a, a value here. When we have more funds than we need, the price goes up, this term becomes greater than 100%, and the price goes up, so funds, um, the pricing goes up there. When there are, If we have a few claims, and that takes funds out of the DAO, and the mutual comes, that becomes slightly less funded, then the pricing um, drops, and it, and it might go below 100%. So in this way, we encourage um, dynamic capital in and out of, of the mutual. If, for example, the, the mutual runs out of money, and gets all the way to zero, then the pricing is at this point, which is basically where we start. We sort of start at zero. Um, the other key point is that the MCR percentage is kind of like the short-term driver of the funding position of the mutual. It, it will fluctuate reasonably regularly with people coming in and out and claims. This number, the MCR in Ether, is like a fixed value, and that's kind of the amount of capital we need to back the policies we have. That is a driver of long-term performance of the mutual. It's dri driven by the number of covers that we have. So the more covers we have, the more capital we need to back them, and therefore this is like um, an adoption thing. So when um, the MCR grows over time, then what happens is the curve starts moving and actually starts doing this, and the MCR value keeps going up. So long-term, Price driver, short term price driver. And that's the crux of the token model. Thanks.